Hey guys, how's it going? Kyle here with another tutorial for you all this week on something I have no idea what it's called, but it's a lot of fun. It's getting more popular out there nowadays. It's like a little roll on a ledge thing. So this is what it looks like. You're starting, you do like flow movements and you end up in this sit turn position here and you just kind of roll over like that and you end up back on the edge. Same thing the other way, you roll over and you end up back on the ledge. It's kind of fun. It's a little challenging to get down to one of the movements, you have to just drill constantly until it gets easier and easier and as you drill it more and more you gain more control over it. So it's one of those things. Um, so I'm not doing a crazy big movement tutorial today. I hurt my hips so I'm trying to keep it simple with this one here. So with nothing more to do, let's go through breaking it down. The simplest way I can think about breaking this down is to start in a normal sitting position. And I think about using my hands when I do it. So what I do is I kind of fall from here to here my shoulder is right at this edge and I put my hand here and I kind of push against the wall and when you push against the wall you cause this whole motion here to happen but with the assistance of my legs going over my head the push actually becomes a spin so when I bring my legs over I push and that spins my hips around this way so that brings me back to this point here from here all I really gotta do is do the exact same thing on the other side with the opposite hand so this hands here this hand here is going to go over here and that's going to push as well to help finish the spin. So it's pretty simple. You go to the side, hand here, swing, hand here, pull, and then you're finished. And it's the same thing on the other side. You start here, you go to the side, shoulder should be on the edge, hand here, swing, put the hand over, pull, and finish. And some people might kind of get confused with it. They might go here and they might kind of go over this way and they might kind of go over to the back on the other side. And there's just all these awkward ways that you can kind of come out of it when you're practicing it. So kind of bear with it. But for this one, all you really want to focus on is keeping your legs above your head or over the edge. Some people will bring their legs off that way and that's not what you want to do. Because if you do that, this is what happens. Right there. All right. So. You want to make sure you kind of stay in this little piked kind of position as you come over and just kind of use your eyes and look over your shoulders to kind of make sure you can control where you're going. So you're here, come down, use your head, look over your shoulder, swing your legs, keep them over your head, and then sit upright. So when you get that basic movement down, then focus on doing it without using your hands. When I do it, I kind of use my elbows for starters. So you go from whole arm to just your elbows here and then you go to where you just use your shoulders and then before you know it you're just doing it without your hands and the same thing both ways so start using your hands and go to using your elbows here and then work your way up to where you don't use your elbows and you just use your shoulders and boom voila super easy super fun very easy to learn and it's just a matter of drilling it when you get it down super easy, then you can start busting into crazier combos and start going here, here, and then flowing into other movements. But that's what I want to see you guys do. So take this, learn it, go film a video of you doing it with a combo or some flow movements, and let me see how this is working for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. I'm just going to do a couple slow mos for you guys and then move on from there. Take great care, you guys. Thanks for watching, and stay positive. Love you.